I made it. That's the train station. Today's gonna be an adventure. Okay, well, we came to Chumpon in the middle of nowhere. I can tell I'm in an exotic part of the country. But I came here because one of my artists is from Chumpon. His name's Naka. Naka's the guy who painted all these temples around here. And what's funny is his name refers to this character right here. So you see this on a lot of the temples and a lot of Thai architecture, as well as Thai culture and all their stories. Inside, we're gonna check out Naka and look at some of the artwork that he's done in here. And it's really great to have an artist like him to sit down and talk to me about inspiration, talk to me about the stories and everything that goes in to these paintings. And here he is. Oh my gosh. If you could feel the magnitude of this place. Oh my goodness. I met my boy Naka here because he painted this entire room. เหมือนความผูกพันมากครับมันมันเป็นช่วงเวลาหนึ่งที่ที่เราแบบพยายามทําสุดฝีมืออะไรเงี้ยเพราะว่ามันเป็นการตอนที่เราตายไปแล้ว
All right, so the story goes, this monk died 35 years ago, but they noticed his body never decomposed. So they put it up here, high on the altar, where people come pay respects to it. Now, it's, it's widely believed that the reason why this guy has never decomposed was because he was such a righteous follower, he blessed people before they went to work, before they got a new job, and he had a great reputation in town, and they believe that his spirit has chosen to live on. Now, something else that's interesting about this mummified monk in particular is when he was alive, he would write his name in this temple on the back of tortoise shells. Now, these tortoise shells are giant. So when people came across these tortoise and they saw the name of the monk and they saw the name of the temple, they took it as good luck, as a good omen. And they would always let the turtle pass the road. They would always stop and let the turtle have the right of way. And all the turtles returned here to the temple after he had passed away. I've never heard of a story as unique as this in regards to mummified monk. But his story also incorporates tortoise and the natural environment here in Chungpo. All right, so there's been certain times in my life when I'm on top of a mountain at a viewpoint like this and I get hit with deep perspective. The other time this happened to me is when I visited the Grand Canyon and there's something about it that when you look out and you kind of put things in perspective and you look down upon a town like this, like right now we're looking at Chumpon, um, you just think about life and you think about why you're doing the things that you're doing. And I think for me, um, a lot of people ask me, why I'm doing ASEAN artist? Am I this art uh, aficionado? Am I this connoisseur about fine art? And, I, and I'm not. Um, and the reason why I'm doing ASEAN artist is because it's about culture. Um, that's really what paintings are in fine art. Fine art is culture. Don't get it, you know, twisted. It's not about, you know, acrylic paint on canvas. It's about telling stories of history and. When I do a business like this, I get opportunities to travel a lot. The other half of my time is sitting at a computer, editing video, making content. Two things that I love, two things that I fully enjoy to do every day on a day-to-day -day basis. The byproduct of that is selling original paintings and limited edition prints, yes. So that is the business that I'm in, but by no means am I an art aficionado. Um, by no means am I trying to be an, an expert in fine art paintings. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tell stories. I want to go to native lands, I want to follow native people, and I want to tell stories that have never been told in the English language. And that's why I started ASEAN Artist. It's not for the money, it's not for the bling, it's not because I'm an art aficionado, it's because I want to travel the world, tell exotic stories, and look at beautiful views just like this.